again. Got it. I saw it. Oh, somebody just took it. He got it. Oh. <laughs> Open that, maybe. Oh, come on. Got him. Got him. He on. I ain't lying. They being caught, man. Basically, I've been letting it do the slow fall and I have been getting uh, a lot of connects, a lot of fish, a lot of things been happening. So, uh, like I said, I want to go ahead and give that a shot again. I only have maybe like an hour, hour and a half maybe. So, I'm going to try to get that done. Um, but first, I got to go to the municipal building out here and I got to get a few things here. So, let's go ahead and get that done real quick. That was probably the fastest trip ever. I got that taken care of here. So, now I'm going to go out cast out for a little bit like i said it's hot like i got on a sleeveless shirt again i never wear sleeveless shirts man but it's hot out here but it's windy uh we're supposed to get thunderstorms later on so i'm trying to like try to play this well um i said i was going to use the similar base that i was going to use that i have been using i don't really know if that's going to really work out too well if i do have to switch over to something it's going to make it's going to all be finesse realistically uh that's my plan on throwing so i'm gonna try to go ahead and get to the lake so let's get there now all right guys so we made it to the spot here uh i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna take two poles look at the clouds you see that i probably ain't even gonna get to fish that much yo but yo any chance to fish is better than no chance at all so like i said i'm gonna grab my poles and i'm gonna try to get to the water <sighs> all right guys so you guys are on the head today uh, we made it to this spot here. I'm gonna do a few casts here before I go to where I'm gonna fish. Uh, well, like I said, running the same setup as before. Uh, let me fix up my line and I will show you guys exactly what we're running. So I got one of these little drop shot hooks here. I got on a Bass Pro Shops. Um, this is a Bass Pro Shops like little minnow, kind of like their Kai Tech brand. Basically, I'm just lip hooking it like this. Take it. Uh, casting out not even using the weight just letting the natural weight of the weight of the the lure take it under i'll uh, give it a, a few tugs sometimes uh, where i caught the fish at levittown lake i did the same thing i literally cast it out i let it go down to the bottom didn't touch it i saw my line moving uh, in this instance my line didn't move but uh i'm gonna go ahead and move it a few times and the cool thing about this is you can kind of see the the minnow on the top if you twitch it a few times, you get a, a different action here um, because it kind of looks like a dying minnow that's like giving his last few kicks. So it's actually pretty good. Um, I don't know where this camera is pointing. Probably should look it up on my phone, but we're going to have faith that it's working, right? Oh, somebody just picked it up. Got him. <laughs> Told you this thing catches. This catches heavily, man. This catches heavily. Look. First fish of the day, a little crappie. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. So right here in the side of the mouth. So let's go ahead and get him back in. Later, buddy. Uh, I think we just lost our bait. There it goes right there. All right, that's a good sign. Um, but I, like I said, I think it's because there's gonna be storms and stuff tonight. So I think we're gonna see some uh, some rain because of that. So. Uh, let me get this bait put back on here and uh, let's get back to it, I guess. Let's see if there is another one over there in that area. He actually hit me right here on the edge, so that was pretty cool. Uh, let's see if we get another one on the same way. The slow retrieve, like I said, I'm taking the line, I'm moving it every few seconds. 
kind of let it go down the crazy thing with, with that was i actually saw the fish come pick it up so you'll see the fish come pick this up a lot kind of like uh it's like fishing with a rubber worm but you know you can see it it's, it's kind of on the top so pretty interesting somebody just hit it again this is sunny or crappy got it i saw it i could see him right there he followed it all the way in too. That's a nice size crappie. Ah, that didn't feel good. Nice size crappie, but uh, he followed it all the way in. I could see him follow it, so. Uh, go ahead, later buddy. I can't lie, this has been one of the most effective methods of fishing that I've done in a while. Um, it's been catching everywhere that I've gone so far, so. The only thing is I don't have cast distance right now. If I was in my kayak right now, I think I would have the cast distance that I would need, but I can get follows all day with this. Um, and those are the types of things that I'm trying to work on as an angler myself, building, you know, just, just being more consistent, like going out, who, who doesn't want to go out and catch fish? You know what I mean? So just trying to be more consistent, having techniques, knowing what to buy when I go in the store, stuff like that. Those are big things for me. So. Uh, figuring something out like this is definitely a good thing. Oh, somebody just took it. He got it. Oh, <laughs> he grabbed it and just went for a little walk with it. What? What? He going, he on it, he on it. There's a lot of them here. I would never think that the crappie would be sitting right here. But, all right, so that's the way we're gonna move. Uh, is it what we came here for? So, make the journey. by this tree right here never even realized it so hoping that maybe oh somebody got him got him he on he on he on as soon as i got to the shade as soon as i got to the shade come on come on literally as soon as i got to the shade now he's covered in all this muck come on come on buddy Whew. As soon as I got to the shade. Look at that. I told you, look, look at that, look at how he's hooked. Look at that hook set. That hook set is crazy. Listen, I ain't lying. They being caught, man. Your boy is catching them. So this is what I got here. Literally just came over to the shade spot here. There's no way to get here without me getting my feet muddy and everything. I want to try to get a picture of him real quick. Uh, yeah, boy. All right, let's get him back. All right, buddy. Wish it was a better way to throw it, but yo, I can't lie to you. I told y'all that this uh, this setup right here has been one of my best setups so far this year and uh i i i implore you guys to try it yo it happened again i was fixing the gopro and uh this guy showed up <laughs> i was fixing the gopro and i went to go pick up my line and i felt somebody fighting on the other end uh that this is insane uh hey there buddy oh my god uh, uh, let me get a better, can, can you, do you mind? 
Do you mind? All right, here we go. Look, he's lip hooked too, which is really good, but that's crazy. Right here. Later, buddy. This is some new kind of fishing right here. You just come out here <laughs> with your with your bait, and then you you hook fish uh, randomly somehow. That was that was pretty interesting. Yo, I lost every one of my swim baits. That's a good thing, but it's a bad thing too. Cause I could have probably caught a lot more fish. One of the toughest parts about like doing YouTube and stuff like that is um, you got to take time away from your family to dedicate it to doing uh, the editing, the filming, the planning, uh, everything that you got to do. Uh, there's more than just uh, record a video and then throw it on YouTube. Um, and I realized that I've been out here fishing. I left, I think at like three and I've been out here fishing for a while now. Uh, probably 2.30 maybe. It's about six now. Um, I gotta go home. Uh, every lure that I've thrown out so far, uh, I just get snagged. And I think what it is, is, is God is telling me to go home. He said, I gave you nice fish. He gave me a lot of nice fish today. He gave me the opportunity to catch some nice fish. Uh, I missed the one fish like five times. So uh, it's time for me to go home. Gotta spend some time with the family. Uh, a lot of new things coming up, man. So, uh, once again, if this is your first time checking out the Jay Johnson experience, I appreciate you guys for checking it out. I'm still trying to get out of here and get home. And uh, I will check you guys out on the next video. Peace!